And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. You want to fight? Get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap, and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Masvidal is two years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here gentlemen, is Bruce This Buffett. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad! All right, group the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Throwing that jab, no good. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. 
Honing in on those counters. Oh man, head kick land. Educated jab there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. But not even just the jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on the strikes. He's just letting it flow. Jorge Masvidal is a very educated boxer, and it's showing in his performance tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big call for Chris Land. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right, he engages in the single collar tie. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. 30 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Nice leg kick lands. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gamebred. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. That one's a nice strike. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Gamebred. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, man, the hook is there again. It seems like every time he's gone to it in this fight, it's been there, and none more punishing than that one. None more punishing. What a fantastic shot. Way to find that hook over and over again. Now they're starting to really take an effect on this opponent. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Watch the shot. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Game Break. Oh, and he lands another punch there, DC. Plenty more where that came from, or so you would think. The accuracy is a sight to behold. Ooh, what a punch. Nice shot to the body there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy, and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. And they separate. And now Masvidal's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, hook to the head by Gamebrook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, well, that is exactly how you turn.
turn defense into offense, catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this one. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Game Break. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And now Masvidal's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. his way with him here back to the feet now well he's really picked up the pace here in round two much more aggressive now oh what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment he deserves this moment go finish this fight good stick All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking some damage strikes on top. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, just, I mean he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was a full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this. Oh, he kicked. Well, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see something, you counter and react on it, and it makes the takedown much easier. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna tag off here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that one certainly found the target. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. 
everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. That's a big strike right there. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. I think you got him trapped to try to hit the four takedown. He evades your escape. He's a phenomenal fighter. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also shooting very busy. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Both guys landing big shots. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Big knee to the body. And now Masvidal's got the tie clinch now. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Nice loop and punch. Oh, a huge block there. Nice jab by Jorge Dane Bread Masvidal. Big elbow there, Lance. Punch by Gabriel. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye. Because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Left hand punch from the clinch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He blocks the punch. Beautiful punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Clean with the right hook. Strikes in this round really hasn't let up. 
when it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display oh. here. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ten seconds to go. Well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent you ready? down. You ready? Let's go fight. Yeah. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole plan. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch land. Ooh. Hard shots landing on both sides here. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.